In this video, I will show you how to write a full expression to calculate the sample mean variance and standard deviation. After that, I will show you how to use a graphing calculator to get them. So first, let's get the sample mean. So x bar is equal to 10 plus 11 plus 18 plus 19 plus 22 plus 23 plus 26. You add them up and then 28, 28. 30, 35, 98, and then 103. So you add them up, you get a sum, and then you take the sum divided by there are 13 data entries. So x bar is approximately equal to 34.5. And then for the sample variance, let's switch color for that. So that is s squared equals to the sum of each data entry, subtract the mean, square the difference, divided by n minus 1. So that is equals to 10 minus um, 34.5 square the result divided by 13 minus 1 and then 11 minus 34.5 square the result divided by 13 minus 1 and then uh, 18 minus uh, 34.5 square the result divided by 13 minus 1 and then 19 minus 34.5 square the result, 13 minus 1. And then 22 minus 34.5 square the result, divided by 13 minus 1. And then this one, let me save some time, save some time in here, because I because I want to save, I want to uh, spend more time on the calculator. So we just switch to 22, and then uh, I let you write the rest. And then the last one is 103 minus 34.5 square the result divided by 13 minus 1. Be careful with that. If uh, you are asked to write a full expression, that means you are not allowed to skip any term. So since they are 13 entry, you have to write all 13 terms out. Okay. But uh, in this video, I will just go ahead and skip that. So S is equals to so that is overall, that is approximately equals to 904.5. And then the standard deviation, which is the square root of 904.5, that is around 30.1. So you may be wondering why is the variance so big? Because the data are very spread out. The smallest data entry is 10, the largest data entry is 103, all right? Since the data are so spread out, the range is large, it's from 10 to 103. So that's why you get a bigger variance, all right? So bigger variance results in a bigger standard deviation. So how do you get this thing on a, using a TR-84 graphing calculator? So first you have to enter the data. To enter the data, you have to go to stat. So you hit the stat key, it's on the left-hand side of the left arrow. So you hit stat and then you will see edit go to hit the stat edit is the first C, the first thing you see on your calculator and then you select edit so in this are uh, on my screen I already have two sets of data from the previous problem so I will be using my L3 so let's say you have a couple uh, numbers in L3 and you want to get rid of them so all you have to do is watch move the cursor to the top of L3 and then hit clear and then hit enter. So all the data in L3 will be erased. This cannot be, there is no undo. So once you erase that, you have to input everything all over again. So let's input the data 10 and then 11, 18, 19, 22, 23, 26, 28, 28. 30, 35, 98, and 103. And then you may dub, need to double check the data entry to make sure there is no mistake. 35, 30, 28, duplicate 28, 26, 23, 22, 19, 18, 11, and 10. There is no mistake. And then we are going to exit this screen. So we click second mode to exit. And then we are going to do the computation. So you go to stat. This time you are going to go to cal. Hit the right arrow. Go to cal. C-A-L-C. And then you select the first one. One variable stat. So one variable stat. Uh, 
I put my data in L3, so I will clear my L2 and then hit second three. So that will be my L3. If you are using an older calculator, you might see one variable stat and then a cursor flashing on the home screen. So that is completely fine. All you have to do is you hit second three, hit second and the number is wherever you store your data. If you store your data in L4, then you hit second four. The place where the list where you store your data all right, so once you are done, you hit enter. So back to my screen, I am going to ignore the frequency list. We don't need that. We go straight to calculate. And then the first one X bar is the sample mean. And then sum of X, you don't need that is 451. And then sum of X squared, basically you square every single data entry. You add them up, you don't need that. And then the SX is SX. The fourth line is sample standard deviation. And then sigma x is population standard deviation. Don't, don't mix them. They are not the same. Sample standard deviation, all right, which is what I wrote on my screen is around 30.1. And there is no variance in here. You, you won't see the variance in here. So if you hit the down arrow to go down a, a few more steps, you will see a minimum Q1, median Q3, maximum. We will uh, talk about that in the next lesson. Where do I get the variance? To get the variance, you uh, just hit clear on your screen, hit clear, clear everything. You have to go to second step and then you go to math, hit the right arrow twice to go to math and then you pick the last one, variance. You sh Sometimes it shows like VAR or, or something or va variance. The previous one is standard deviation. So you choose the variance and then you put your data in L3, right? I put my data in L3. I don't know where you put your data on yours. You hit second three and then close parenthesis. The close parenthesis is on the left hand side of the division key. And then you hit enter. So there is your sample, not population, sample variance. 904, I, I round this up, 904 point. Oh, it is supposed to be 904.6, right? All right, it's okay, 904.5. So that's how you find the sample variance. All right, so that will be all in this video. If you think that is helpful, like, subscribe, share that out for me. I see you all in the next lesson.